What's up, gang? This is John coming at you from Call Wheeler Motors, and guess what? The Enduro mod is back. Yeah, we got a 2023 Escape R, and I decided in the lieu of the uh, IRC Enduro Fest coming up in Honolulu, Hawaii, we are going back to the, uh, the Enduro tires. So we got our Gekota IRC Gekota IX09W. Now, this one's a little bit worn. We're gonna use it a little bit more uh, before we flip it you know we did cut the knobs off the side uh, like I mentioned before um, some of these some mods are coming to this bike and we're gonna try and make this the enduro bike again but we're gonna kick it up a notch so what I did was I also added a 55 tooth sprocket from our friends at s3 now this is a 428 sprocket it's solid aluminum from s3 and 55 tooth is two teeth down from the 57 and not only will it give me a little bit more top end because this bike has torque for days um, hopefully I can get a little bit more speed on the run-ups for hills and whatnot uh, it also gave us the opportunity to run a um, we're actually gonna run a, a half link over here just to get our set our wheel set all the way back in our swing arm and would still having an adequate tension on the chain now what the swing arm what having the wheel back at the swing arm gives us also as well is the most space up here now it doesn't look like much but we just gained almost three quarters of an inch um from where it was so it used to be about here where my finger is and we gain just that much more now it's not a big gain but every little bit counts when we're trying to get the mud out of our swing arm gap and I'm thinking about also doing a little modification to this rubber piece here where it actually will come down the uh, the back here and possibly mount to the swing arm that way it can have a, uh, a clear um, path down and it won't get packed up here where it normally does at the moment of course we need this to have movement because of the swing arm but that's cool we took off our guard kind of like the escape x and we still like we shaved our tires so we don't have the rubbing on the uh, swing arm but look i got so much space on this side and oh, and on this side so being that this is the knobby it actually gives me more room here for the mud to travel down unlike the trials tire where it's really flat and close and that really gets stuck we also took off our our um, stand. We don't need that guy. Uh, the bike's now going to be a leaner. I do like the stand. It does come in handy, but it does dig into the ground sometimes if I uh, get stuck on a hill climb. And now we will not have that problem. Yeah. Just got way more capacity up front. So I suggest if you want to go enduro, guys, um, this is a regular tubed wheel. And then we run the tubeless system in here. So I did change the wheel. This is not like the previous video where I stupidly drilled into the uh, the solid trials wheel. So yeah, um, kind of worth it just to get another wheel set for the enduro. And I have the other one set up for trials. I can just swap them, uh, swap them, <laughs> swap them real quick when I want to go back to the trials tire. So. Let's see how this goes and keep you up to date on the how the 55 tooth works and uh, if that helps us with the mud come this rainy season. Right on guys. Till next time, always take care and ride with Aloha.